She says, can we buy Quran with illustrations for kids? First of all, we have facts. Among these facts is that the Quran must be respected, must be honored. It is the speech of Allah, the Almighty. And hence, it has to be totally cared for and looked after in a respectful way. This is why a lot of scholars says you do not write on the pages of the Quran. You do not highlight the wordings of the Quran. You can do that in an external paper without a problem. But with the Quran itself, it has to be respected. Also, we have to understand that teaching children is different than teaching adults because you are setting the foundation and whatever they learn in this early age, this will be heavily rooted in their subconscious, in their hearts, in their way of thinking and analyzing. And having said that, there are no specific means of teaching the children, of having them learn what is important in their lives. So it depends on the technique used. And each technique has to be looked into, cross-examined, and then come out with a verdict. So to illustrate some verses of the Quran so that the children would understand them, we have to understand that we cannot draw or illustrate to our children things that are related to al-ghayb, to the unseen. So things that we ourselves don't know the nature or reality of, it is prohibited for us to illustrate and draw such things in order for the children or others to understand. Such as when it talks about rivers that flow underneath their mansions in Jannah. And we, when, when we put the picture of rivers, gardens of Eden, and we put jungles and, and gardens and flowers and hell, and we put fire and, and the likes. All of these things are part of the ghayb, which we ourselves cannot imagine, have not seen, and hence drawing them would not be permissible. When we talk about angels and devils, and you write what so many people do, depicting angels with wings and a halo, like the Christians think of the angels to be like this, or the devils with a spear with three heads and uh, horns and a, a small uh, uh, beard, and he's red. This is not permissible to put such images in the minds of children or anyone else, because this is not true. Depicting the messengers and prophets of Allah, even if they don't show their faces, because this is something that all Muslim scholars have agreed upon, not to depict messengers and prophets in any shape or form. And other things like that. But if we're talking about a normal tree and you draw a tree, this is okay. There's no problem that we all know what a tree looks like, but we don't know the trees of Jannah, how they look like, so we do not write, uh, uh, we do not illustrate them, and we do not uh, draw them. So if this is 
in a, done in a permissible way, there's no problem in that, inshallah.